Hey guys, Real McCoy 411. Please, please excuse the way I'm looking right now. I have completed a day of work and I haven't even got a chance to just care for Charlotte right now. But I'm coming to you because the last video I put out, I was showing you guys these here and how I had the Shea Bay powder on them. And then I was gonna follow up with a wash day and apply the Shea Bay again. Okay, so I've been doing some research and I found out that you can do, of course, the Shea Bay spray. I told you all about that from Discovering Natural. She actually let her Shea Bay sit in hot water and let it steep and then she has the spray let it cool down squeeze it all out of a nylon and then let it let it spray out the spray bottle okay so that's one way of using shea bay powder the other way is a part i'm about to show you guys right now because this is what i'm going to be doing for wash day and i am what watching natural a as an apple two the number two so natural a2 and this is making a shea bay oil okay i got it set up like i'm in a lab y'all look and don't be looking at my stomach and, I, and yeah i'm missing a breast i'm a breast cancer survivor This is my channel. This is my channel. So, yeah, I'm a survivor. Breast cancer survivor. So, sometimes I'm really like, oh, I don't want anybody to see that. But now I stand up strong. I stand up with my head held high because I know God saved me and I got another chance. I'm saved and bougie. <laughs> so, anyway, let's get to it, guys. I got the recipe. She says one tablespoon to eight ounces of oil. Okay? So, I have... A teaspoon right so I'm just going to do two of these to make a tablespoon and I've put two of these in my little container and on here eight ounces is right here of oil that we need okay my two oils and this is how this is what the bag looks like of the shea bag so let me close that back up chapter. This was twenty some dollars. So. <laughs> yeah, my, and Robert knew I was gonna order that. I would not be making this video right now. But anyway, we need one tablespoon to eight ounces of oil. Now, I have one tablespoon of Shea Bay powder, and I'm going to start adding my oils. Okay. Um, I'm probably I'm going to top it off I know with grapeseed oil but since I'm really pressing for growth and I know that shea bay powder helps with strengthening and moisturizing your hair and everything I'm going to add a little growth oil in there okay so I have the African Pride Olive Miracle uh, anti-breakage growth oil helps stop breakage split ends and dryness anything that can help with growth because Shea Bay powder alone does not help your hair to grow. It is not about growing your hair. It's about moisturizing your hair and taking care of your hair so that your hair can grow at its natural rate. Oh, I worried if that good like a commercial. What? Anyway, I'm going to start pouring. And I knew I wouldn't have enough. That's why I pulled out the grapeseed oil. Okay. So this is all I got of this bottle. Now I have Africa's best organ growth oil. And this is nutrient rich, rich conditioning to help prevent dryness and shedding. All of this stuff is like when it say growth. It's like helping your hair strands as they as they grow. You know what I mean? 
It's like, it's not saying put this on you and your hair is going to grow. It's saying I'm going to put this on my hair so that it can be taken care of while it's doing its natural growth. You see? Okay. So, I'm going to make, put that in here. And I knew I wouldn't have enough. Yep. Don't have enough. So, I'm going to finish it off with a little grapeseed oil. Now, according to the natural A2, you let this set outside or let it sit in the window seal or something. Just let it sit in the sun three days. Three days, okay? That's going to push me over wearing this for five days to six days but that's okay that's okay because i'm going to use this on my wash day okay i'm gonna go ahead and top it off and this is i'm not going to use all of this on my wash day this is going to be used as if using this, a growth oil. I'm not gonna drench my head in this as a pre-pool. I'm not gonna do my hair, load it down with this and then twist it up. No, I'm making a DIY growth oil that by using, with using Shea Bay powder. Okay, so now, that that's all in there, eight ounces. I seal it, and you can shake it up because as you, it's sticking to the bottom. But you want to make sure that it get all infused because it's actually going to go back to the bottom. See how I don't have any at the bottom. Okay. So I have shaken it up. I like this little container. Child Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, what? Okay, so it is all shaken up. I it will the Shea Bay powder will continue to sit in the oil and do its thing for the next three days. When I present this to you we will be on wash day, okay? So, I'm excited. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell. I'm so excited for all my new subscribers. Uh, people are actually taking this journey with me and I'm so grateful, guys. I am so grateful uh, just for all my new subscribers. I am so grateful. So I thank you all so much for following me on this, with me, being with me on my journey for healthy and longer hair, natural hair. That is my growth. That is my, my, um, my goal is healthy, natural hair. And shrinkage is your friend. So if you got some good shrinkage going on in your hair, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Shrinkage is your friend. It means you have healthy hair. So, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my window seal. Make sure my lid is closed tight on it. And I will see you guys on wash day. On wash day. Okay, so. <laughs> These are the oils that I used with a little grapeseed oil. Wait. And using the Shea Bay powder. Okay? So I will see you guys on wash day. I'm excited. See y'all later.